Hi, I'm Darrell with Reward Wall Systems. Today we're here to talk about our metal starter track that we sell here at Reward Wall Systems. And the purpose of this uh, metal starter track is, number one, to shoot and hold your bottom course to the dimensions of your building once, you, when it's, once it's laid out, and also to aid in the uh, leveling of that first course, which is very important. This metal starter track is a 28 gauge uh, piece of metal that, that is bent with a two and a half inch leg on each side and it has knurling to help aid in, in the, the attachment of your screw through the metal into your tie so the tip don't dance around on the, on the metal when you're trying to get it attached. And we'll start out and we'll, I'll show you how, how we recommend using this. I'm going to show you how to attach this metal down. It's fairly easy just to attach to the, uh, to the footing. Uh, I'll, one of the things I recommend is using a small three-quarter pin with the washer on it that works really well. Also a very light load. I have a uh, Simpson uh, multi-shot uh, power actuated tool that I use. I'm going to use it on both sides of the wall in this application where it works really well. I'll show you here. I line the metal up on my layout which I've already done and it really only takes three shots per eight foot piece so I shoot one on each end about oh, eight to ten inches in maybe pull my line only takes three shots per piece I'll just repeat that on the inside of the wall and what I'm gonna do on the inside here is I'm not gonna run the, the metal past the inside of the corner. I'm going to actually hold it just a little bit past. All right, simple as that. Just three shots, piece of metal, multi-shot tool is the key. Okay, the key the, to, to, the, to the metal track and the layout is to get the layout shot and the, the beauty of using this, this metal track is I don't care now if that footing's wet or whatever, I don't have to worry about trying to adhere glue to the, to the bottom of the form and to the footing. So I got a good piece of attachment here and we can roll with the forms whether the footing's wet or not. I don't kick my forms out of, uh, off of the layout of the building. First thing I do is I start in the corner, I set a corner and I come right in and set my, my straight. And what I want to do is I'm going to hook, I'm going to hook my, my two together because I want a nice tight bond. So now I'm going to start running down the wall and I'm going to set my forms. Pull them all together, of course. Get my joints tight. I would have metal shot that way to keep my form from sliding both ways. My form's on this layout here, and what now I'm going to do, keep on running with my form work, with my layout man, I'm going to get somebody back in behind here and start leveling this bottom course up. A standard screw gun and some drywall screws will work. You can, you can use self-tapping screws, but it's really not necessary. A standard drywall screw with a sharp point works and that knurling will help keep the screw from dancing around when you go to get it started versus just a smooth finish and that's why we have it in there so what I would do is I'd set up a transom laser level or something and I'd start shooting my footings and make sure they're level and if not I've got two and a half inches to, to work with to, to pick this up if there's little in discrepancies in the footings and it comes really handy for that so I'd start at the corner, I shoot this level, we're going to start right here and we're going to attach to the tie which is right in the outside corner which is great. Uh, some, some manufacturers don't have that but we do backing right in the corner. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot this wall level and I'm going to start at the corner which I shot the outside, it's good. I'm going to start at each, at each joint, butt joint and I'm going to screw right through the tin, the 28 gauge metal starter track into the tie. 
and shoot that level, that's level, and I go right over to the joint. I make sure that it's pulled tight right at the seam and I'll screw right in through the tie in through the metal and then I'll run down the wall which I wouldn't be using a level at this point I'd be using my laser level and I'm gonna come back to this joint shoot that one level just like I did there and I'm gonna screw on both sides of the seam again and I have the ability here to, to lift this up if it's out of, out of level on the footing or the, or the slab. So that, that's where the, the metal starter track will give you that two and a half inches to work with. So say I had to lay, raise it up a quarter of an inch. I raise it up. Screw through the, through the metal starter track. I come back to the other side, pull it up flush, tighten my joint back up. And then after this side is done, if I wanted to use metal starter track on both sides, I'll come back and I'll level it this way. Because I'm level on the outside and I'll screw through my metal starter track on this side and I'll, and I'll have level not only that way, but this way as well. All right, now we've got the, the wall all shot down, leveled and on the layout of the building. Next thing is, is put your bar in the wall whatever the design calls for, where the bar placement would be, you stick your bar in there, start from the corner and work your way back to the, to the common.